I'm up for that. No, the battery's low. You're okay. <laughs> Any batteries down here, guys, if you can hear me. Yeah. Good idea. Rick already called. He already called him. I told you. Okay, two more. Two more, sir. On the second point down? Yes, sir. Men's Major World Series Reds in 454. We're glad you're with us from ESPN Wide World of Sports. Reds Travis Dale, Fred Lawson, Chad Mullins, 
Wally Maybrier. Did you catch last game? The first four okay, in their lineup. Mike. Just, I'm Mike. Remember I got the mic on. Oh, yeah. So I don't curse anymore. I know you're, you're good. There's more than you and me out here, though. <laughs> All right, here we go. Better. And here we go. My hands up. Travis Dale is the leadoff hitter. And a beautiful afternoon for slow pitch softball men's major 2012. And there's a crowd out to start action. A lot of guys have been slipping in this. Fred Lawson. What a way. A little flat, in and flat, a little flat. No more hump. There you go. Line to the right field. It's a fair ball. And a triple for Fred Lawson. Apologize about that. Fred Lawson is at third with a triple. Here's Chad Mullins. Stay in. Little in, KJ. No, a little hump. That's a good pitch. There you go. Hey! Called strike. Good pitch, KJ. Don't let the drive it. And Mullins hits this one well deep, and that's gone off the scoreboard. A home run. So Red's the early leader. After the home run, and Wally Maybrier is the batter, gotcha the center box. fielder. Hey! Good pitch. Hey! Line to the left. Time! Runner on first. Reds remember the comeback win they had last night. Outside. Okay. Now backing in. There you go. Deep and gone. A home run for Steve Kingsolver.
Ball came back on the field, tossed back in by the Disney staff. And with one out, Rob Roof, the first baseman, is your batter. My hands up. Rick Robertson with us as well. Good to have you with us as well, Robo. Went down between innings, had a little chat with the umpires. Tiny. 454. Base hit. Time. All the way out to center field. Jason Branch caught it on a hop. You'd think that uh, right now Reds has all the momentum in the world. After the way they played last night. Seven runs in the sixth. 14 in the seventh, I believe. 21 runs in the last two innings. I know. Uh, Paul missed the thrilling comeback. Amazing game. The Cinderella story of the year. Reds Astros. Actually, they're the 14 seed here in the winner's bracket. And this ball is hit by Farrah. Oh, Branch has it. In center field for the second out. I see him, Mike. Gotcha. Hey, 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 Line to left. A base hit. In fact, he'll slide into second with a double. Well, is it second, third, two outs, four runs in here in the top of the first for Reds Astros. Mr. Reds in a little bit better humor today, Bernie. I know. He seemed a very happy man last night. He should be. That was awesome. There was a game where one... Oh, I was actually there. sitting next to Hank Only Bassett. Have He's right down there in yeah, close to the Reds dugout. My hands up. Complaining about having to sit through that game and watch him lose it. By golly gee, they came back and won it. Ryan Joyner, and that one's just past the glove of Bill that may be Kevin Bazzot, the middle infielder there. Bazzot, Bazzot, yeah, was the middle infielder. That is going to score two more, and it's six to nothing. You think about last night's game, Rick, for Reds. It took them so long to get going as we take another look. It seemed like they were miles away from scoring any runs, and then suddenly just an onslaught of offense at the 15 end. 15 to 2, I want to say, after 5. They were in jeopardy of getting rid of Getting beat by the uh, run rule. Toy Kreider. He's set. They I got know, on a play. roll that was unbelievable. Play. Very similar to the first game. The Dirty D. Marini, three and two, scored seven, I believe it was, with two outs in the bottom of the seven. This should be the well, final out. Bumgarner took a little tricky hop. Change it up. Ending over, but six for Reds in the first, and they lead it six to nothing after a great start. Should I bundle all my policies with Nationwide Insurance? Watch this. 
On one hand, you have your home insurance with one company, and on another hand, your auto with another, and on another hand, your life with another. But when you bundle them all together with Nationwide Insurance, they all work together perfectly, and you could save 25%. Wow. You Triple SA members, you could save money on your auto insurance. Call a local Nationwide agent or 1-866-556-SAVE. Nationwide is on your side. Four fifty four. Jason Prance, Chad Durick, just in case. And Bill Rue. Shortstop. The first three before Rusty Bumgardner hits cleanup. Last year's men's A world champions. Making sure that the catcher, Steve Kingsolver, knows that. The home plate umpires, Mike, you heard the conversation a moment ago. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can't hear him right now, but it's, I like that perspective, being able to hear him. My, my That's a, definitely a good perspective as we see Jason Branch, leadoff hitter. Right. Now, back here, short it up. Short it up. Go heavy. First two pitches heavy, 2 and 0. Wait. Short on top. Branch for first with the walk. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, you did. <laughs> so Chad Durick. Leading home run hitters in Conference U-Triple-S-A, Nationwide Conference U-Triple-S-A, Nationwide on your side. Wait! Throw it right at you. Steve Chad, as they said, had 81 home runs. No, stay here. I said earlier, they a bit limping around still. A little more hump. Six inches. On his leg, I'm going to have to have surgery. I'm not sure if it's the ACL or MCL or both. You hate to see any of that. Yeah, he's been hurt pretty good. Oh, that was, a, that was shot. a hot shot, and it got past Travis Steele, the shortstop. Time! You got it. That ball was hit well. Too quick for Dale. Here it is on replay. Here's the pitch. There's the shot right past him. Oh. Hands up. And Bill Rue, the third baseman. <laughs> Rue. This so one continues to carry, and it's gone. How about that? Opposite field home run, deep over the bullpen, three-run shot. And 454 cuts the Reds lead in half, 6-3, bottom half the first. Once again, towards Matt's vehicle, the $25 bounty is still in, still in existence. Still good. <laughs> Rusty Bumgardner now. This one of the real gentlemen of the game. Rusty, been around forever. He was asking me if he could change his music on the entrance. He walk up. He was one of them. Well, I think what happened is some of them were just uh, late arrivals into. I don't think the whole they gig. got. Did, did Rachel even get a response from them? Or? Yeah, not from everybody. That was part of the problem. Shorten it up. <laughs> Shorten it up. Nah, it's over. Glad high. It's over. 
You know, that height, yeah. With that height, it's so. It's so Kyle it's Moyer will bat. <laughs> Rusty's down to first on the walk. All right, let me know when you're set. Nobody out. Three runs are in. And Moyer backsides it down the line. He's going to end up with two. Rusty lopes into third. 454 runners at second and third. Nobody out. And Philip White will make his way to the plate with a chance to tie this game. Hands up. It'll stay there. Philip White, chance to tie it up at this point. Short ball one. He turns on that one. Nice piece of hitting there. Bumgarner scores 6-4. Still nobody out. Runners back in the corners. Moyer at third. White at first. Jesse Harrison, the batter. My hands up. Play! Ball! And Harrison hits it in the gap out there. Could have been cut off by the center fielder. One run will score. Now those runners at second, third, and still nobody out. Moyer scores the fifth run. Six for Reds, five for 454. Bazot about it, the middle infielder, Kevin Bazot. Chance, there it is. There is going to be a oh, nice sliding cutoff. Gotcha. But unable to hold him to a single. The center fielder for Reds, Wally Maybrier, over to cut it off. Kevin Bazan now. Right. Line to right. Come on, Jeff. Zot slides into second. And the merry go round continues. 454 moves to the lead, 7 to 6 over Reds. Mr. Red calls time and makes his way to the mound. Mr. Red is a farmer, Bernie. Says these boys don't know anything about work. No, I, I could bet. Says, you see that part of my ear has been. Uh, I got to get it cut off because that's out there for me. I said, yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. You know, it's down about on Highway 75. Yes, sir. <laughs> I have no way. Uh, but I tell you what, he's one of the nicest guys in the game. I'm so happy to be here. He's from Kentucky, I guess. See how it is? It's coming from Yeah. That's where he's from. I'll fix it after. Yeah, Mr. Herb Price, the gentleman gotcha. in the wheelchair. Yeah, it's coming out. You know how it's hanging here. Oliveira, the batter. 7 6 ball game. The left fielder got under that one. And Brian Farrar, long Good run. Catch. Races in, makes the play for round number one. First out of the inning, seven runs so far for 454. Kevin Johnson, the pitcher, KJ the batter. Gotcha. Oliveira out at second. Bottom of the lineup. Nice. <laughs> 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 
Joyner, the pitcher, Ryan Joyner, snaps him off right there. Second out of the inning. Right back to the top, Jason Branch will bat. This one here's the pitch. so quick. Brittany's got it down right here. The instant replay girl. I know, she's got it all. You are everything and more. Jason Branch. Umpires Lee Eggers behind the plate. He's out of Rockford, Illinois, Boston, Massachusetts. Another Down there first, Mike McKinney. Rob Mantle over to second. Dwayne Pasovich right here, Kissimmee, Florida. That retires the side to end the inning. 454 beats 7 to 6 over Reds. Live at ESPN Wide World of Sports. My cord's coming out. I'm using. I'm Tim Coco with Team Louisville Slugger. I swing the new Z2000. Last year's use of the Z1000 was a phenomenal year for me. Probably the best year I've had since I've been in softball. I hit probably the longest home runs I've hit in my career last year. Last year in the stadium tour, I hit two or three out of different stadiums. I feel the new Z2000, the sweet spot is bigger than last year's Z1000. It's even stiffer than last year's two-piece model, so you still have the stiffness of a one-piece with the performance of a two-piece. Get yours at Slugger.com. That's good. All right, better. Rich, can I have one, please? Thank you. How about that, Mr. Rick? Hey, that's awesome. Wow. <laughs> I'll probably hear my umpires now, too. Give them a full report after the ball game. Oh, we have a team meeting between games. I know. <laughs> Lane, the leadoff batter here. He pops it up. KJ tips his hat and gets out of the way. <laughs> So an easy fly out for the first out of the inning. And we're back to the top of the lineup in Travis Dale, the shortstop. On the previous play, Chad Durick came over from third. And I don't think they wanted to make they wanted to make sure and not have KJ try to make that play. One away. That's a perfectly placed ball for a base hit. Oh, he's going to second. Here's the throw. Nice hustle by Travis Dale. The leadoff batter for Reds, the shortstop, motors into second. There's one out and a runner on second. And Fred Lawson, the batter. They're playing a lot. I got it on my iPod. Now back here. I mentioned it last night, but I really like all the insight that your umpires give during the game, just uh, and helping the pitcher know where the ball is. Yeah, they're going to either let the pitcher know or the catcher know. Everybody knows. This one drilled to left field, back, and it's oh. gone. A home run. A nice effort by Oliveira. Too rich. Oliveira high on the wall by the Walt Disney World Resort sign. For a moment, you might have thought he could have got it. And here it goes. Brittany's got it on replay. Back goes Oliveira, and there he goes. He leaps to the fence, and there you might have thought he had it just out of reach. What camera work by Matt O'Hare and Brittany on the camera. 
on a computer with the replay. Unbelievable way this staff gets things for you. Best in the business right here. Yes, sir. Chad Mullins. Reds now takes back the lead, 8-7. to seven. And Mullins to the deepest part of the park, and it slices to right center. That's caught. He almost hit it off his picture. He almost hit it off the big screen right there. And that's a, that's a shot. That ball is over 400 feet to right center, and here you go. Look at Chad's picture. Watch the ball. It's deep. And then it's going to come down. Right there you see it, right at the bottom below his name. What a signature. Chad Mullen, signature home run. Wally Maybrier, the batter. Now, still flat. 2-0. Oh. This one is hit as deep as the other one. And that's going back over by the batting cages. Back to back to back. Wow. Ten runs now in for Reds. 454, 6 on 7. And the Cinderella story continues. The slippers still fitting. Well, last night that was one of the big teams that everybody said keep an eye out for. They felt like Reds had the ability. They're just some good old country boys playing ball. Now back here. Go deep. Two balls, no strikes. Have him played right. Look at there in the short right field, back right over to Bumgarner. That's Bazak that had him played all the way into short right field for the first out of the inning. Roof. How about that for placement as you saw oh. the replay? I said, there you go. Short right field. The shot flips it to Bumgardner. The way these guys scout each other, they know where they're going, and they put the move on, and they made it right. Rob Roop. Play! With two outs. Now back here. A little deep. Shorten it up. I'll give him that if he shortens it up. There it is. Yeah. Rattled around in right field. Time! Rube places it over to right. Brian Farrar. Big and rich play when he comes up. Red Swing and Louisville Slugger, the Z2000. They swinging it well, too. Paid out. Hank Bassett, of course, uh, did so much for the game. Retiring from uh, working with Louisville. Yep. Base at the center. Runners now, first and second. With the two outs here. Top of the second, 10 for Reds, 7 for 454. I hear you. Time. There you go. Right back through the middle. And Tiny calls time. Makes his way to the mound. Trying to break up Reds' momentum. Yeah, I love you. That's what they want to hear upstairs. That's what they want to hear. Just say you love me. <laughs> He's their killer. Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah. You're talking about a guy that has a ring up here in the broadcast booth, though. You got a ring as well, though. Who? Well, you're a Hall of Famer. Yes, sir. 
That's a men's major champion, so he's got a ring. Oh, dual rings right here. Four? Four? No changes or anything? Okay. Well, one's a, one's a kind of a high spin looking trophy. Fortunately, I've been able to be inducted into four Hall of Fames. The USSA National Hall of Fame, Louisiana Hall of Fame, where I was for 35 years. Special category in Michigan. Oh, we got two down. And the same thing in New Mexico. Jake Stambizi. Is that the price of right? Yes. With two outs. Let me know when you're set. All right, he's gotten charged with his first conference. As we've told you before, if he comes back for a second conference to an individual pitcher in any one inning, he must be removed from the pitching position for the remainder of the game. Strike called on Stambizi by Lee Eggers. Jake didn't like the call. Oh, and that one is hit hard. It's going to score a run. Time! Bill Rue. You see me flip that for you? Trying to make a brilliant play. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> Unable to come up with it on a smash by Stambizi. It's Ryan Joyner. My hands up. Okay, Jay, work here, bud. Good pitch. That ball's going to get through. Wicked. Bazaar cuts it off. Time! Kevin Johnson unable to make the play at the mound. The ball gets through. Goes between short, second, and the bang. The Bazaar. The middle infielder goes, here you go, you'll see it on replay. K.J. not able to make it right there. He reaches out, it gets by him, goes to the yep. short center field. Here's Bazat sliding to cut it off. Cry to the batter, he hits one between the shift to right. Another run scores. And Reds is on the merry-go-round. Darnie's calling. Time to talk to Lee. Just come off the mound. You stay in the game long enough to switch position. Correct. You have you have to come to the mound to go out there. Staying in. Okay. Okay. Good piece of umpiring. A little preventative umpiring. Close and listening in. Tiny ass. He goes. No. Out. No. You're gonna have to remove him from the pitching position. And that is correct. He would have got charged the second conference. So, Tony right, decided not to go out. They've left KJ in the game. There's seven runs in this inning. Reds 13, 454-7. Now he's still flat. Take it. Outside lane of the wall. And with two outs, the bases are loaded for Reds Astros. Coming out, is Yeah. So the bases are loaded for Travis Dale. Dale in the left field. That retires the side for Reds Astros in the top of the second. They push across seven. They now lead 13 to seven over 454. As we will return in a moment at ESPN Wide World of Sports with the USSA Men's Major World Series 2012. B.J. Fulk, Team Worth. My weapon of choice, 
is the BJ Folk Mayhem. Let me get my crew out there. All right, uh, bottom of the second and the 13 to 7 ball game. During the batter, he hits the ball long. Man, did he crank that off the scoreboard. Dirk. With a solo shot. Right here in the bottom half of the second. He drives it deep it. over the spring training, home of the Braves side. Right on the bottom part of the scoreboard in the clock area. I want to say Dirk, 81 home runs during Conference USA. Unlimited home runs. Conditions, heavy air. Yeah. Ball's traveling good today. Yeah, everybody's been saying that. Ball's been going real well. And if you're listening in, you can hear. Be ready, ball coming. The Yankers and Bill Rude talking about. All right, my hands up. How well the know, ball's sir. traveling. We've noticed that over the last two days, Bernie. It's, it's jumping out of here. I mean, these guys can hit. Don't get me wrong. But it just seems like it's traveling. Rush as the day heats up. Knuckle ball. That ball. It just took a right. Oh my. Time! Ferrar didn't have a chance on that to left field the way that ball knuckled. At least. Wow. Runners at first and second. Bottom half the second. 13 8. In favor of Reds. And 454 continues to try to take the lead back. Right. Now through here. Rusty Bumgardner. Hey. This one still carrying, but the Good ballpark catch. holds it. I'd say 380. And I needed to go 385. Time! Gerard took it all the way to the morning track right in front of the wall. Before he was able to make the catch, Kyle Moyer will come in the bat. Ruse over at third on the tack. One away, 13 8. Reds over 454. Hands up. Play! No, stay out. Just a bit outside. Boyer one hops it into right field and he'll take his time as he goes in the first. Time is called. Ruth comes across with the ninth run. Hands up. Philip White will take the spot in the, in the box. Also outside. No, no more hump. Got to get it up. No more hump. Two balls, no strikes. One out. One runner on. Hand will stay up. Let me know. Hold it back. Play! 
That ball. Out of play, guys. Long and foul. Out of play. That's some fans summing themselves. My hand will Surprising the Disney will actually probably send somebody down if they notice it and ask them to put their shirt on. Yeah, they're not too keen on sunbathing at the stadium. I don't know why. Outside, he takes the walk. So, Moria goes to second. White goes then to first on the walk, and Jesse Harrison will bat. Beat him on the ground. Shortstop gets one over to first. Oh, and he calls him safe at first. Time! Calls him safe over at first. Unable to turn two. Kevin Bazant. I got you. With two outs. Hands up. There's the play. The flip to second. Over to first. Here we go. Come on, blue team. It's a close right play. We're not sure. On it. But hey. the umpire was sure. Mike McKinney called the runner safe. So 13 to 9. Red still right, leads to 454. Hey! boy. Head on the left hey, corner. Do a little work right here. Do a little work. Nice pitch. Oh, oh and Bazat shoots it in the 5 6 hole. The 10th run will come across the score. That's Kyle Moyer. Time! We now have runners at the corners with two away. 13 to 10. And 454 keeps pounding away, chipping away at that lead. Three runs are in so far. The Reds had a good two first inning. They put up six in the first, seven in the, in the second. 454 is answered with seven in the first and three here in the second. Two down. Branch. Excuse me. Oliveira. He drives in the run. Time! That's Bazaar who scores the 11th run of the game. And here we go. Right back through the box as you see on replay. Pump it out. Come on, pump it out. Take the lead back here. Let's go to work. I got you. Kevin Johnson, the pitcher, will step in here now. Play! With a chance to give 454 the lead. Right at him. Right at him here. Come on. That a boy. Yes, sir. No, still heavy. Hey, still going to be four. Still going to be three. Comes in ball one. Little heavy. Just outside, and he walks. KJ. Bottom of the order. Takes the walk. That'll load him up. One in each station. Jason Branch. Also with a chance to give 454 the lead. Let's we'll take this lead back in with this Bugsy. Come on, boy. Play! Tell me something dirty. Back here. Well, nice call, a little still bit heavy. deep. Still heavy. Heavy on through the strike zone. That a boy. Branch! Right off the pitcher. He picks it up in time over at second to retire the sign. Not much. That was a nice play by the pitcher. Joiner, Ryan Joiner, knocks it down, picks it up, gets it over to second to retire the side. Bottom half. Second inning, 454 gets four runs. They leave the bases loaded, however. And after two complete innings of play, Reds 13, 454, 11. Live on UTSSALive.com. Lee Powers, Team Louisville Slugger, I swing the new Z2000.
The new Z2000 is a two-piece bat with a one-piece feel. One of the biggest improvements in the Z2000 is the larger sweet spot, which gives me more power. Growing up around my dad, he always swung Louisville Slugger, which led to a Hall of Fame career, and that's one of the big reasons I swing Louisville Slugger. Last season, I just swung a Louisville Slugger for the first time in my career. I can't wait to swing the all-new Z2000 this season. Get yours at Slugger.com. All right, here we go, ball in, guys. Did you, did you ask for a verbal, so I have my hand down? But, but. Did you have a verbal there? No, no, no. Oh, that's fine. Okay. My hand will stay here. My, it's going to stay up. Lost in the batter. Play! Drives the ball into center. He'll lead off here the third inning. The second hitter in the lineup will lead off with a single. The second baseman didn't really like the call on the first pitch. He thought it was flat. But it only takes one to hit. He does so. Not to me. Yeah. Crap. I don't think he was ready. Play! Chad Mullins. I believe it was Chad who hit one over the... Ball. Clock out there over the scoreboard by the dome on the left side. Unbelievable home run last night. He drips it in there. Right past Chad Durick at third. So Reds now has runners at first and second. There's nobody out of the first two batters of the inning. Get on base. Oh, tall boy. Number eight. Wally Maybrier. Oh, gets over the left fielder's head. That's off the wall. One run will score. Time! Maybrier goes to second with a double. Left fielder, Oliveira, unable to make the catch as the ball bounces off the wall right beside the 385 foot sign. So Reds now moves runners to second and third, and one run is in. They lead 14 11. We might as well settle in for a long one. Looks like these guys will battle back and forth. Hey, play! Makes for a long game, but an exciting game. King Solver the batter. Outside for a ball. Got you. My hand will be up. And Lee Eggers makes sure he stops. Didn't move quick enough. Stops play, keeps the hand up, and signals that it's play. not time to pitch. Then he says play. Now, now he's played. Now it's heavy. Ball three. Runners 
And Emory Base, they're loaded again. Nobody out, top half the third. Hands up. Hit it to the wall, and it's over. Grand slam. Rob Roop for Reds. Astros takes it out of the park. It will not come back. Thank you, and that's four more. Eighteen runs. Here you go. It's on replay. Roop with a shot. Here's the pitch from KJ. KJ delivers. Root. Oh, and he turns so well on that. And it's driven right over the wall, just to the right of Disney World Resorts. Hey! Gotcha. Right there. We're good right there. My hand's up. Play! One on one count. Stay hot, me. Now, nah, still back. Two balls, one strike. Still nobody out in the inning. There you go. That ball's hit deep. Catch. But it's tracked down in right field. So that's the first out of the inning. Reds five in so far. They got six in the first, seven in the second, five here in the third. They're putting up big crooked numbers every inning. They lead 18 to 11 over 454. Most people would think that this is an upset in the making. But as I've said yesterday and today, there's no lead safe in the game of slow pitch. Now through here. Stand busy, Jake. No, sir. Stand busy to batter. Too far back. Too far. I got you. It was heavy, long. Let's go. Good. Play. Good pitch. Good pitch. Stand busy. Skies at the left. Olivera the catch. Camps underneath. And that will be the second out of the inning. With two outs. My hands up. Ryan Joyner, the pitcher. Joyner with the great play to end the last inning. Now has a chance to extend the lead. Stayed out. Stayed outside, takes a look. He rips it. Just going to be a foul ball down the line. One ball, one strike, two outs. Top half, the third inning. A lot of games being played here today at ESPN Wild World of Sports in the back. Men's C and the women's A, B, C, and D playing games here and over at the Osceola Softball Complex. Wish each and every one of those teams a great weekend. Good luck to all of them. Safe trip home when you get finished. So Joyner still the batter. Nobody on base. Good pitch. Zot's going to pick it up in middle infield and fire it to Bumgarner. So Reds scores five. They leave no one on base. They lead 18 to 11 over 454. You Triple SA Men's Major World Series 2012. Live at Champion Stadium, ESPN, Wide World of Sports. Rich, one, please. Thank you. All right, here we go. Batter, bowling, guys. 
and Lee Eggers calls for the batter. And 4.54 faces the seven-run deficit as they come to bat in the bottom of the third. Chad Durick, the all-conference player this year. A little breeze would be nice. Just a little smidgen. Playing third base this game, he'll lead off the inning. Durick will lead off the inning with a single. He'll go to first. Time! And stay there is Bill Roof, the money man for 454. Last year's MVP of Men's A World. Steps to the plate. Rue gets under it. Long run from center field. Get a catch! But the catch is made by Mainbrier. Time, fellas! Bumgarner, the batter, one away. Derrick's on first. Play! And that one's got the center for Maybrier. So Maybrier makes the last two plays for two outs. The power hitting Kyle Moyer. Makes his way to the plate. Two outs, bottom of the third. Derrick still over at first. 18-11. And Kyle Moyer back back and in the bullpen for a two-run home run. Kyle flips his bat towards the bucket. Two runs are in. 13 now for 454. They still trail by five. They have one out left here in the bottom of the third. There it is on replay. Back back it goes. The right fielder's up for it but unable to make the play. That's Chris Lane trying to snag it but unable to make it. So it's 18-13. Red still keeps the lead. Play! Now stay in. White the batter. Nobody on base. Two run home. Home run clearing the bases. You got it. Come up, Andrew right Town. Yes, sir, my hand's up. The Eggers grants it. Play! Hey! In there for a strike. This ball's going to be hit to the left. That retires the side. Ferrar with the catch. Two runs on Moyer's two-run home run. They leave no one on base after three complete innings of play. Reds, Astros, 18. Team 4, 54, 13. U-Triple-S-A. Return in a moment at U-Triple-S-A-Live.com. Just give me that.
Andy Purcell, teamwork. My weapon of choice, 454. It's legit. The 2013 DeMarini Stadium Spec 1 is ready to take on all comers with its revolutionary design that answers the call for a high-performance bat with unmatched durability. The Stadium Spec 1 features an end-loaded 13-inch 4-1 composite barrel and DeMarini's proprietary SC4 aluminum alloy handle. Step into the box with Stadium Power Tour bombers like Chris Larson and Kevin Philby and take your game to the next level. DeMarini, insane dedication to performance. Greg Connell, teamwork. Talk about a shaking. Crider goes to left, first out of the inning. Huh? Oliveira, right the long run towards the foul line. So we're one out. Reds has done a good job making crooked numbers every inning. Six in the first, seven in the second, five in the third. Sally scored her 18, 454, 7, 4 and 2. 18, 13, top half to fourth. Oh, nice catch by Bill Rue. Line shot right off the bat of Chris Lane. Rue snaps it off for the second out of the inning. And that's a great play by Bill Rue. Travis Dale, number five, your leadoff hitter. Speed at the plate. Two down, nobody on. Top half to fourth. And there's strike one. Travis Dale will lead off with a single. Takes a look. He'll return over there to first. Two down, one runner on. Andy Bictak, now a pitcher. Kevin Johnson back over on the side. Tiny directing traffic to his defense. Back here. Back deep, ball one. No, straight here. Two no straight pitch, gotta get a hump. There you go. Now take it. Deep, long, yes. Yes, sir. Ball three. Shorten up too quick. It takes the walk. Runners at first and second. Two outs. Mullins the batter. That's Lawson that walk. Dale at second. Mullins the batter with two outs. Oh, that one's off Bill Rue's glove. Unable to make the play. Lane will score. Mullins in there, play at second. He's <laughs> Time. That's a bit of a short slide right there by Mullins. So that's Lawson at third. Dale scores. 18, excuse me, 19, 13. That slide by Mullins, you worry about him probably costing himself an injury. You see the ball went right off Rude's glove. It's picked up by Bazzotti. Fires it over to the bank. Whoa. And Mullen slides a little bit too soon. Almost got the tag on him. 
Wally Maybrier will back. Runners in scoring position, two of them, second and third. And he skies it out to center field. And that one, Jason Branch camps under to retire the side. Top half the fourth inning, Reds Astros pick up only one. They continue to mark every inning, but only get one here. They lead 454, 19 to 13. There's 454 comes to bat here in the bottom half of the fourth inning. We will return at ESPN Wide World Sports in just a moment. Right on the nose. Huh? How many of you coming up with there? 18? Is that okay? What's up guys, I'm Brandon Blake from Team Mizuno. I'm introducing the new Mizuno Blackout. Very durable, reliable, it's gonna last you a very long time. It's one of the best performing bats out in the game. When I step up to the plate, when I have the blackout in my hand, I have tremendous confidence, got incredible pop, superior feeling. The Mizuno Blackout comes in a 26 and a half, 27 and a half, 28 and a half. That extra half ounce gives me a tremendous feel when I step up to the batter's box. The Mizuno Blackout's $175, you can't beat the value, so go pick up your Mizuno Blackout today. Nothing swings like a Mizuno. Who? Brent. I'm Dean Marie. Oh, who else would it be? Come on. <laughs> Cotton and first. Joe. Here we go. Hey, one out of the time here. Come up. Jesse Harrison will lead us off here in the bottom half of the fourth inning. 454 trails by six. Hey, pipe! Joining the pitcher. That's two over the first. Ooh, in a close race to first. As Root beats him over the first for the first out of the inning. One out. Kevin Bazat, the middle infielder. Gotcha. Here it is on replay. Root. Ooh, right in front of Harrison, just getting him by a step. As once again, Brittany's got the replay. That ball's hit in the right center. And Bazat's going to try for two. Here comes the throw. Wrong side of the bag. Bazat hustling all the way. Never hesitated rounding first. He's over at second. One away. And all of Vera the batter. All right. Play! Oh, and he turns on this one. This one's hit long and far. And that is going to land just below the USSA logo. Oliveira with a home run over the left field wall. It's a two-run shot, but now cuts the deficit to 19-15. to 15. Only four runs down. As 454 continues to bat here in the bottom half of the fourth. Hands up. Big Tech, the pitcher to batter. And he came in last inning to pitch for Kevin Johnson. Just a bit inside, ball one. Straight away center field. Catch! First out, Maybrier makes the catch. Excuse me, that's out number two. And now we're back to the top of the lineup. Jason Branch. The center fielder. Come on, 
Play! Go on, boy. Get in. Play! Flat, too. Just a bit short and flat. I'm waiting for the ball. I got the inside of my leg, partner. <laughs> Tried to move for you. You know me. All right, here we go. No. No, it came here in. Yes, sir. Right. Inside ball two came around too late. That one hit on top. Morant will take a walk. And Chad Durick moves into the box with two away. 19 for Reds, 14 for 454. Keep working, boy. Come up. My hands up. Joining the pitcher working hard at the mound. Come in, miss here. Let's get a dugout hit. Play! Durick's hit this one deep to left. And I don't think we're going to keep it in the park. No, hey, sir. Three-run home run. And now 454 oh, only trails three. by one. Thank you. My hand's up. We've got 19-17 on the board. I thought that we had a walk down the first. Anyway, Drew, great. Didn't like the call. 19-17. Two down. Tiny comes out. Yes, sir. My hand's up. Two strikes. Two strikes. Let him have that line. Let him have that line. Play! And Rue pops it up. Retires the side right there. Top half, excuse me, top half of the fifth will come. But here in the bottom half, the fourth, 454 gets another four. Red still leads 1917. ESPN Wide World of Sports, U-Triple-S, same Mills Major World Series. Okay. We all know what freak means. Now, add my Supermax inload. That's what you get with my mic at Freak Inc. We don't play, we dominate. Top of the fifth. Great game between Reds and 454. Reds currently leads 19 to 17. They will bat. King Solver to lead it off. Top half the fifth. And the shift goes into play. Zot moves to short right field. Play! Stay out. Stay out. Tough hop for Bumgarner. Nobody at first. Oh, nice play, though. Almost got him. Rusty, I'm unable to get back. Vic Tech, the pitcher, covers. And that play was a lot closer than you thought it would be. Nice play back there by Mazzot. King Solver hustling right out of the box. So once again, Reds gets their leadoff batter on. Roop. Ra 
Barbaro Grand Slam last time up. Now he drives it into right. Almost, uh oh, drop. Oh, my goodness. Trying to throw it before he caught it. There it is, the replay. Oh, unfortunately, you see where the line ball was dropped. So Reds runners at first and second. Nobody out. Ferrara the batter. Now Ferrar hits it in the gap. One run will score. And Reds continues to mark each and every inning. They extend the lead to 20 to 17. They've up oh, by three. Jake Stambezi. My hands up. Runners at first and third. Nobody out. Play. Swings at the first pitch and pops it up on the infield. Rude Catch. takes control. It's the first out of the inning. One away. One. One run in 20. Reds 17. 454. Ryan Joyner, the pitcher, the batter. Joyner hits it deep in the right center, but Jason Branch has got Great it catch. right in front of the warning track. Room tags up, comes in from third. Two, two outs, 21 for Red, 17. For 454, 6, 7, 5, 1, 2. That's how they've marched along in the innings. That's given them their 21 runs. 7, 4, 2, and 4 for 454. Total 17. Top half to fifth. Two outs, one runner on. That's going to be out of play down the left field line. Troy Kreider. He's the batter. He's the middle infielder for the Reds Astros. Left handed hitter. Hey, throw it like that. There you go. Uh -oh, right off his glove, right off Rue's glove. Vic Tech tried to make a play, couldn't. It, he deflected it, then he deflected off of Bill Ruse. Another run scores. So Reds continues to score each and every run, and in multiple runs. And here it is, right off of his glove. Off of his glove. Wow. Brittany again has got it on the replay. Deflection to deflection to right center, left center. Right. Chris Lane, the batter, 22 runs in now, Reds Astros. And that one's hit down the right field line. It is going to rattle all up in the corner. And Harrison's going to chase it down, but the run will score from first. And a triple. Time. And that run scores all the way from first. Kreider, Troy Kreider, the hustling runner at first. Lane motors in to third. Travis Dale, the batter. And Cinderella still dressed for the dance. Tiny, or KJ calls time now. 
Kevin Jensen making his way to the mound. Travis Dale's the batter. Got a runner at third. Chris Lane. Lee Eggers out to break it up. Get him back to playing ball. Four runs in so far this inning. 23 Reds, 17 454. Lee informs him that's the first conference. Yes, sir. Total of 40 runs in this game so far. We're still in the bottom of the fifth. Top of the fifth, I mean. Excuse me. Travis Dale, the leadoff batter. Play! Good pitch. And that's going Go! into that corner, and it's a signal power ball for Mike McKinney. First base umpire hustling down the line. So Dale will return to the box. He's got to try it again. Two outs. Just a bit inside. One and one. Dale. He hits that one, and that's going right over again, Walt Disney World Resorts. And a two-run blast by Travis Dale, the leadoff hitter. 25 now, another big inning, six runs so far, 25 to 7. And he just turns on this one so well. Here's the pitch. Back off. Time. That's fine. No, that was him. Yes. Yes, sir. My hand's going to stay right here until I hear from you. He wasn't ready. Play! Lawson. He gets a base hit. Time! It's Reds Astros, the country boys, are hitting it well. They lead 25-17. I thought you just yelled. Chad Mullins the batter. My hands up. Big power hitting. Yeah. Play! There's a catcher and an additional hitter, and he hits it in the holy smoke. <laughs> that is way out there. 27. Twenty-seven, seventeen. Mullins, way over the right center field wall. Still up. Wally Maybrier, the batter. Eight runs in. They take a ten run lead on 454. Maybrier continues the onslaught. He drives it into left field. Time! Steve King solver. Makes his way to the plate. 27 17 Reds over 454. 
And Kingsolver, is it going to stay fair? I don't know. Foul ball, says Lee Eggers. Rich, two, please. Thank you. I got you. After the long foul ball, King Solver steps in. Now he pops one up, Bazak, to make catch. Hey, in short up. right field. Retires the side. Top half, fifth inning, Reds Astros. Eight runs score. They lead 27 17. Now, weapon of choice, 454. It's legit. The 2013 DeMarini Stadium Spec 1 is ready to take on all comers with its revolutionary design that answers the call for a high-performance bat with unmatched durability. The Stadium Spec 1 features an end-loaded 13-inch 4-1 composite barrel and DeMarini's proprietary SC4 aluminum alloy handle. Step into the box with Stadium Power Tour bombers like Chris Larson and Kevin Philby and take your game to the next level. DeMarini, insane dedication to performance. Greg Connell, teamwork. My weapon of choice, 454 Rosmondo. It's legit. Here we go, bottom half the fifth inning. Rusty Bumgarner. Number 16 in your program, the first baseman for 454 makes his way. And Reds as leading 27 17. Rusty no, takes a look. It's a bit outside. Now Rusty gets a hold of one, and that one's going to go deep and along and out of the park. Bumgarner leads off the bottom of the fifth with a solo shot. And Kyle Moyer will take his turn. Nine run deficit. Foul ball tries to go backside, pushes it a bit too far. Foul. Nobody on, nobody out. One run in. You got all the games today, bro. Another one. I got the next one, then a break. Well, we got two teams of four, you know. We do two on, two off. So we're doing this one, next one, then the other group comes on. Getting here, Lee Eggers explaining the rotation you know I'm on the umpires. From you. Two on, two off. One run in so far. That's on the Rusty Bumgarner home run. Boy, the next one. He will take a shot a little bit outside. Ball one. No, still here. And, uh, they're thinking that should have been a strike, but because of the ball. There you go, a little short. Been very consistent throughout the game. Done a good job. One thing, pitchers must adjust to the umpire. The umpire doesn't adjust to the pitcher. Oh, yeah. So Lee's done a good job. Yep. Philip White. Boy, you're at first. Nobody out. Bottom of the fifth. Right. Play! 
That's going in the stands. Time. Rich. Two, please. Thank you, Rich. I got you. Yep, hands up. White. White skies it into the short left field area. Shortstop moves over, makes the play, one away. Jesse Harrison, one out. Zod is on deck. One. Play! Yep. Play! Time of the plate, ball Let's one. Let's do that off, remember? Hey! Frank. Come on! Toy, right at you. One and one. One hop of the shortstop. Flips the second for one over the first high throw. Time, fellas. Time. Throw gets away. So now they're two away. Harrison hustling out of the box. Was able to get in the first. Two away. Only one run in so far. The lead still ran to 27. 454 18. Rick, a big opportunity for the winner here. They'll take on either Tysia or Laser Vision, but uh, you're inching very close to making it to that final game on Sunday if you can get a win here. I said before the Cinderella team, Reds Astros continues to lead. Bill wants to know, uh, Rick, because we were off our Facebook page for a moment, can somebody tell me what a deeper Take long it. pitch is? Are they trying to hit a mat? I hear, keep hearing Lee say deep. So might there's be the no, best yeah, there's no mat it. out there, deep or long or heavy. It's through the strike zone when it comes back through a little bit. It could be a little bit flatter or a little bit low and just comes through. And that's what he's describing to the pitcher. Now back here, short it up. Comes back too back, too far back. Some people say over the shoulder, all the way through. Ground ball, shortstop. Oh, nice play. Change it up. Shortstop makes a good play. I got you, Kyle. Flips it over. That's Dale to Lawson. Lawson with the stretch in second. That ends the bottom half to fifth. One run for 454. Reds leaves 27-18 as we move into the top half to sixth. What a play. JJ, I'm not picking him up. I'm not going to. I understand. It ain't your fault. I know, sir. I got you. I ain't going to get him. They're sitting there before teams. Okay. Okay. You didn't tell me that yesterday. No, that's fine. If you have a problem, you say, Tony, tell me to get the freaking belt. Why didn't you tell me that in my first game? I didn't notice any. Pro. Pro. Nobody told me that. Facebook question just got posted. Andrew's with us, broadcast student from UCF. He's going to be wow. down on the field getting a post-game interview, and uh, we'd like to know what would you like to find out from either team. Obviously, we're going to interview the winner. Who would you like to hear us talk to? Still plenty of time left in this one, but it's Reds leading 27-18. Of course, we thank Rick Robertson and his umpire crew for helping out. An outstanding job he does. 27-18 score. 
as Rupa lead things off. Hey, play! 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 Gotcha. Straight called. We appreciate all of you guys interacting with us online on Facebook.com slash U-Triple-S-A slow pitch softball, a base hit for Roop. And he's going to turn it into at least a double. And here he comes, trucking into third, the leadoff triple for Reds. Time! Four out of five in the game, a double short of the cycle. And that brings up number 13, Brian Ford. Here's another look. My hand's up. Catch! Point, fellas! Jake Stambizi. Turning foul. Aaron wants to know if we can talk to Chad Bullens. It's one of the guys we're certainly honing in on. Um, possibility of a home run derby appearance tomorrow night. Dan Beasy flies out. Second out of the inning. 23 for 31. What number? 23 for 31. 23 for 31. That's a good question from Drew. How does your approach change when you play in a bigger stadium? Josh Bowen. Opposite field. A base hit. Time! Forward with a single. That brings up number 11, middle infielder, Troy Kreider. Kreider with an RBI. Andy Ricketts asked the coach how he plans to keep all of his players. A lot of major teams and teams will be looking after his talent. Well, we'll Guys, you ready? try to deal in the here and now. Some ways. I mean, I, you know, I cross over and just stay down and make the play. Okay, Jay, let's go. That's your one. Oh, no. 
to conference. Chris Lane is the batter. And the base hit for Lane. This is going to score another run. Time! That'll retire the side. Dill grounds out, inning over. It's a 29-18 ball game. Now, I called that in upstairs, but I, do I still come out here and, and tell you as well? It's nice just so we know what's going on in the field, and you can tell them. And so I can tell them, case it saves us the aggravation of the next inning. You know, maybe the coach can remember, hey, Lee, I didn't know anything, which we know doesn't have to be important. Okay, well, that's what I wanted. I didn't know if that was official. No, I, to me, you're the official, okay? Thank you, sir. B.J. Thank you, Rich. I see you're awake now. You took your nap, didn't you? Grandpa. Great night at the ballpark. Glad you're with us, watching around the country on YouTubeLSALive.com. The cigars are out on the upper deck. Andy Vitcat from Team 454. My hands up. Lead off hitter. You see, yes, sir. there he is, DW. Getting some film for softballcenter.com. He will be on the air tomorrow morning with losers bracket action. And Vitcat, bouncing ball, base hit. Time! Starting off the action here. They trail by 11, and they are the home team, but you'd like to start to get some of those runs back. Jason Branch. Play! No, back here. First pitch is deep. Play! And a cold strike evens the count at one and one. That one came down, Cyril's there. Play! catch! Nice grab. Travis Dale. I did call the first one, didn't I? No. With a brilliant play. I just don't want to get into that. You're supposed to help me out, brother. But I can't do it. Exactly. And I'm Mike. <laughs> yeah. All right, play. Now back here. Chad Durek now. With a runner on first. Now still heavy.
That's caught a home run. Dirk with a two run home run. My hand's still up. Play! Now he stayed in. Great backhand by Dale and got him. Out number two. How about that for a fantastic defensive play? Rusty Bumgardner now with two away. Fred Lawson. He's the leadoff hitter here in the seven. Play! To center. Good catch! And Good nice catch on the run by Jason Branch. Chad Mullins now, the guy that they're gotcha. zoning in on to talk to after the ball game. What a tournament he's had. Smooth swinging. In the center. Just an easy swing and base hit.
hands up. Wally May Pryor. Lifted and gone. A home run. A beautiful home run for Wally Maybrier. Thank you, Rich. And it's a 31 20 ball game. Is Golden Goose in the broadcast booth with us? Rachel Goosens. Steve Kingsolver. Liner to right field. And King Solver is aboard. Well, after last night and the comeback win for Red, certainly they know that they want to have enough of an advantage as we head to the bottom of the seventh to hold on. Strike called. No, straight here, hump. Lined into left. This Reds Astros team is playing great softball Time. of late. Two aboard and only one out. Back to the pitcher to second. They get one into first. It's a perfectly placed inning, inning, double play. How about that for some defense? A big time showcase there. Here's another look. Okay. Yes, sir. Get away, please. We got it. We got it. I already told him. Coach, got it. I saw you. I almost going to call time and run over there. I mean, you would probably got mad at me for stopping the game. I saw him on the phone. Because I looked over and I saw you scraping your knees. Next year, you just need to make me your personal assistant. Yeah, yeah. Your trick. My personal valet. Yes, sir. <laughs> Will I make more than this? Yeah, probably. Oh. All right, better. All right, Red's trying to hold on and advance to take on the winner of either Taija or laser vision. But they're going to have to go through the heart of the lineup for Team 454. Chad Durick, Bill Rue, and Rusty Bumgardner are due up here in this inning. Shop. Shop. That could be, be, be a good game, isn't it? Well, we always say that, and then... So I just wait. I wait till the game starts. I mean, this has been kind of a good game. They haven't hit. They have not hit. And they know it. Excuse me, it's Kyle Moyer. Yeah. Oh, you know what? You, oh, you guys are tough. You guys are tough. Same with the pitching. If this result holds, mm -hmm. Andrew's down to try to touch base and get Chad Mullins. Kyle Moyer, though, is going to try to 
start the comeback himself. Time! I got you, yes, sir. It really doesn't matter where he hits it. He just hits it hard. Philip White. Yep. Good night, sir. My hand's still up. Jake, coming at you, baby. Come on. White! Now, back here. Come on, way back. Way back. Come on. Hey, no freebies. Everybody's swinging here. Now, still heavy. Turn it up. Turn it up. Got you. One on, nobody out. Wait! Now take it. And there's a walk. Reds leads by 11. I see him. Red. New hitter. Yes, sir. Play! Timmy Mickey. It's caught, and the runners move up. Time one. And they're on the corners with one away. Gotcha. Kevin Bazan. No, stayed out. First pitch outside. Yeah. The Zot. This one turning, and it's going to keep turning. And a play! Foul. Hey, get somebody out tonight. Let's go. Yes, sir. My hands stay up. Let me know. Straightened out. Oh, but it's over the head of the right fielder, and this is going to score a run. Time! 31 to 20 on a misplayed ball in right field. Bryce Olivia. Now back here. Way back, way back. Excuse me, Oliveira. Yep. It's down to a single digit deficit. Two coming to score. Time! <laughs> 31 23. He goes, I'm out of here. They're hitting rocks. <laughs> Rich, camp one, please. Thank you. All right, here we go. My hand's up. Play! Down the line, that's fair. Time! And we'll go as a double.
It'll bring Jason Branch to the plate in a 31-24 ball game. Good range. The gun, he's safe. He beat it out. Time! I know, I see him. We got time. Dan Breezy. What's that? And you really couldn't tell from that angle. And 454. They've scored four of the runs that they need in this inning. Backhanded to second for one. The throw back to first. And it goes out of the glove. Time! So they get one. And they're on the corners with two away. You got it. Two down. Yeah, two down. Oh, you're right. Make them hit, you know. Just make them swing. They got to swing. Hey, two out. Good job, Enfield. Good job. Two out. All right, here we go. My hand's up, sir. Lay on this. Lay on this. Go ahead. Get in. Hey, you just got to go right at him now. Come on. Go got to go right at him. Wait. Back deep. And gone off the scoreboard. A three run home run. Rusty Pumgardner, 3127. Go to work. Go to work. And he's down on strikes, and that's the ball game. How often do you see that? A called strike three. Here it is. One more look in slow motion. Down on strikes. 
And Reds holds on. Andrews down on the field with Chad Mullins. Very durable, reliable, it's going to last you a very long time. One of the best performing bats out in the game. Yeah, I'm talking into it right now. Can you hear me? All right, well. They're tracking down Chad Mullins right now in the dugout. And uh, we'll get them all set and ready to go. And down on the field, as a look at Andrew and Chad Mullins, we'll send it down to you, Andrew. Go ahead whenever you're ready. All right, I'm joined here on ESPN Wide World of Sports grounds with Chad Mullins, the hero of Reds Astros. Now, Chad, tell us, your team is facing a lot of high-level teams in this tournament, but after winning the conference U-Triple-S-A conference tournament, how do you feel the momentum has affected your team? Oh, well, we... We just played good all year. Just you know, last couple of weekends at the B Worlds, you know, we struggled, and like I said, we're just scratching, just scratching, clawing, doing what we got to do to win games. Well, clawing is what we would call hitting home runs, and that's what you seem to do. Tell us, how do you feel about your prospects in this year's home run derby? Uh, we'll see. We'll see. I'm just glad to be a part of it. You know what I'm saying? I'm just up and coming, young country boy. So I'm just glad to be a part of it. All right. Well, this victory has gotten you guys into the final four of this World Series. You guys play the winner of Taija and Laser Vision. Tell me, is there a team you'd prefer to play? Uh, we haven't played Laser Vision all year, so I like to I like to give them a run. See what see what we got. All right. Thank you very much, Chad Mullins. Over you to over to you, Bernie. Thanks so much, Andrew. Nice job down there on the sideline. We'll have Andrew with us throughout the tournament. We got three more on tonight. Dirty D. Marini and Gene Shop coming up next. From ESPN Wide World Sports.
No, 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 they won't let you back there. Remember, we got kicked out. You're not allowed to go back there. 